Transport one week, health the next. Labor and independent candidate for Newcastle Karen Howard have gone head to head for the second week in a row. Today all the talk was about easing pressure on the John Hunter's emergency department. There might be by-elections this weekend, but Labor is campaigning as if it's the big show in March, not targeting the other candidates, but the absent Liberals. On Saturday, a vote for Labor is an opportunity to send the Liberals a message. While they're not running, they are watching the outcome of Saturday's by-elections. John Robertson, with his would-be MPs, today claimed Hunter Hospitals will be hit hard by federal plans for a $7 GP co-payment. The New South Wales Department of Health's own figures show that we'll see more than 19,000 extra people turning up at the emergency department here at John Hunter Hospital. Health Minister Gillian Skinner weighed in, pointing out federal parliament has not passed any legislation relating to a GP co-payment. Meanwhile, other by-election candidates have their own ideas about health. Independent for Newcastle, Karen Howard wants to secure the future of the GP access after hours service that eases pressure on emergency departments. Funding is set to expire on June 30 next year. 90,000 people contact the triage service each year through the Hunter and around 45,000 people are kept out of the emergency departments. Vivian Von Drainen, NBN News. And to get to know all of the candidates in this weekend's by-elections, just head to our website nbntv.com.au.